What screams I lost the argument? When they start responding with who asked, even though they started it. No one asked for your opinion. Good but you're still gonna hear it. I like this. Simple but effective. Trying to focus on side points of yours that don't really have anything to do with the main point as a means of diversion. Or when they successfully rebut one of your supporting arguments. E. G. A bad analogy. And treat it as a total victory. Even though they still haven't addressed your core argument. This is why I no longer use analogies. There is no perfect analogy. They are meant to help people see things in a different way. People who aren't arguing in good faith don't care about that. When they go completely off topic. Well I don't like your username. Well I don't like your mom. I do. I too like this guy's mom. I guess I'm just a terrible mother. Are you quoting my mom? Ah mom. Comrade. I knew I had a long lost brother. I guess you guys have a sister too. We got the same damn mom. I never knew I had so many brothers and sisters. We're a goddamn dynasty. When they just start yelling speak like look at you. You know so much. Smart ass bitch. You know this is why your ex cheated. You're insufferable. And loudly banging things. Stomping. ETC. I think you should stay away from that person. When you're told that's what they want you to believe. Bonus points for a not well defined day. The government. When personal attacking starts. Enjoy your ban. Some of these mods are peeping ridiculous. Whatever. You're salty. Pretty much any reference to salt. Yes. If your only rebuttal is oh yeah. Well. You're a cribby. You've already lost the argument. Moving the goalposts and whataboutisms when someone has to try and change what an argument is about to defend it, they more often than not have lost that argument. When you start replying like this. You are wrong a No you are wrong a h h h h h No you. I have a right to my opinion. Of course you do. And usually at this point in the argument no one has said otherwise. But that doesn't mean your opinion is supported by evidence. Similarly, people tend to confuse being legally in the clear with being justified more broadly. I remember arguing with a friend that a particular movement was stupid. And he replied, well the same right that allows you to criticize them allows them to do it. And it's like, yeah. Of course they have the right to do it. That doesn't make it a smart thing to do. Or when somebody says they have a right to an opinion, but it turns out their opinion is really a fact, that is not true. Whatever. I don't really care anyway. I sometimes throw that sentiment in, even if I win the argument just to make it clear that it's just petty discussion. When the ad hominem attacks begin. Nothing says I'm out of reasonable options better than attacking somebody for their profile picture lol. Happy. Green thing. Bringing up old arguments that have nothing to do with the current one lol. Edit. Lady here. Understand that they are people of all genders who don't know how to have a calm, productive discussion that remains on topic. Even if you disagree just give the person time to say their piece and afterwards both of you can come to a resolution that is on topic. Forgive people because that is something that you would want from someone else. Don't keep a scoreboard of rights and wrongs. This. I got into a very, very long argument with my boss slash brother before we parted ways. I brought up things from 5 years ago but all regarding the job band issues that were building. He brought up some of the same. But also one personal thing about his wife and I that literally had nothing to do about what was going on. It's when I knew he was grasping at straw and that I was in the right street the time. You had an affair with your brother's wife, didn't you? Directing towards some other topic. 
when someone points out that you ate the last sausage and they know because there's half a sausage sticking out of your mouth you've given up the game by saying, yeah, well what about the time you ate all the corn chips? Separate argument, my dude. But at a certain point, it's gotta be relevant. Like, if a family member keeps eating basically all of the food in parties, then one time you eat one donut too much in another party, and he berates you. You got a peeping point out that he keeps eating way too much food in other parties and has no reason to be complaining about you. <sighs> Writing off reliable sources of information that they don't like. <sighs> Whatever all may owe. I know some people who literally can't be argued with as they just don't have common sense. If it's an argument that just doesn't matter and I don't feel like spending half an hour on the subject, then sure, agree to disagree. You might lose the argument, but that doesn't prove you wrong. And that goes for plenty of other comments here. Make a judgement for every situation. If it's not worth the time or verbal fight, just concede. That's what I usually do. When they start the enjoy your negative downvotes logic. Alternately, bring on the downvotes. I usually get into online arguments with people in video games where nobody knows what I look like IRL. Usually, they'll resort to calling a kid or a 9 year old, or whatever when I disagree with them. For such an unoriginal comeback, they've already lost. So your argument is so terrible a 9 year old can see what's wrong with it. I'm all for being the better person, and seeing the good in people, but if they are unwilling to listen it's not worth the effort explaining. When the insults start appearing. Who screams while speaking. Resorting to variations of no you. I can't even think about this right now. I'm still mad about the last time you did something wrong. When they tell you to do your research. Someone said this to my brother recently when he corrected them on some coronavirus stuff. His response was well, I'm doing my postdoc in virology. I work in the lab of one of the people on the vaccine approval board, and I've been in this field for over 15 years. So I've done a bit of research. Of course there was no response to that. A refusal to answer direct questions that are clearly designed to demonstrate the flaw in your reasoning. The only reason you have to refuse to answer a question is, if you know, that the answer is going to lead you to admit that you're wrong. And if you can't admit that you're wrong then you're no longer interested in meaningful discussion. Ad hominems and straw and tactics. Oh and slapping slash punching them with the words now look what you made me do. That's a big loss. It also makes you an idiot emo. Do the research. Like, no, you're the one who made the argument. The burden of proof is on you. This tactic is almost always used by people who value their fee-fees over actual data. Antivaxxers. Flat earthers. People who think getting a raise into another tax bracket would cause them to earn less money, etc. I understand checking comment histories if you suspect a bad faith argument, but using what you find as ammunition for a cheap gotcha is just tragic. When they start saying inaccurate stuff, you can't win against wrong. There's a lot out there. But here are some of my favorites. 1. Start using personal insults instead of actually trying back up their argument. 2. Looking through your profile for something to make fun of you for. 3. Trying to change the subject to something similar but also different. 4. You're just mad. 5. Kid you're like 10. You don't know speep. 6. Start cursing you out. 7. Start using racial slash religious slash homophobic slurs. 8. Start calling you things like but your ash peep. 9. If it's political, they'll call you things like libtard or trumpeted. 10. One of my my personal favorites. F peep you. Edit. Added a few to the list. When people start denying a source is valid because it doesn't conform to their worldview. Edit. Hey dum dums. This is the default name Reddit gave me when I signed up. I just thought it was funny. Flat earthers are dumb her dare I get it. I'm not a flat earther. Reddit is. 
when they start bullying you instead of trying to prove their argument. I was going to say the same thing. Once they start getting personal and away from the actual context of the argument it's going downhill fast. You just have responses to everything I say for my argument. X said this to me once. She didn't get that's why I thought her argument was crap. You always reply with facts to my arguments. My ex. Yes. In fact. The facts do help one put over their position. Not online. But I basically got it with the dudes that's just. Like. Your opinion man. As a way to discredit my views. When they stop responding. When they start accusing their intended victims of being divisive. Arguing in the first place. Even if you win it won't fill that empty hole inside of you that craves validation and reddit karma. That being said, if the other person produces a gun. I lost the argument. Screaming. Personally attacking you, as if that proves any point. <laughs>